So let's look at all of our uh, Boolean theorems that revolve around the AND gate. So to start off with, let's do our truth table uh, for the AND gate. So we've got A and B for our inputs, and our AND symbol is just the dot. So we'll draw that out, and we've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. In our AND gate, remember, both of the inputs have to be a 1 in order for the output to be a 1. So that means our 1 is right here, and the rest of these are at 0. And just to draw this schematically, we're going to have our AND gate there. This is A and B. And our inputs are A and B. All right, so our first theorem is x anded with 1 equals x. So that means here we've got x and a constant 1. So anywhere, uh, let's look at our truth table, anywhere that we've got uh, b is a 1, that's here, and b is a 1 here, uh, we see that the output just follows the input directly. So a is a 0, the output is 0. a is a 1, the output is a 1. So that's kind of a way to make sense of that theorem. Now, uh, theorem 2 prime, which is x and 0 equals 0. Now, hopefully this one should be very intuitive, right? We need, we need two ones for the AND gate to be a one, for, for the output to be a one. And so if one of them is stuck at zero, it doesn't matter what this input is, the output is always going to be zero because it doesn't have that other one to bring it up. And then we've got x ANDed with itself just equals x. So uh, what that's saying is that both of these guys are tied together, right? They're both hooked to x. So that means that they're always going to be equal. And so we look at our truth table and spots they're equal. That's there and there. And when when x or when they're all zeros, that means our output's a zero. When they're all ones, the output's a one. And so we see that this just follows x directly. And our next one, uh, which is literally the same thing for the OR gate version, is uh, theorem 4 prime, which is just uh, x prime prime equals x. And even though I already explained it, I'll do it one more time. Uh, we've got x is our input, and that's going into an AND gate. And then we're going into, or sorry, uh, a not gate, and we're going into another not, and we're saying we get x. And so we know that the not is going to invert x, and so we get x prime here, and uh, and then this is what we're uh, what we're implying or not implying, but uh, stating right that x not knotted is just x again. So to really do this, let's test it out. Let's say we've got a zero here. 0 here, that flips to a 1, and then it flips back to a 0, or where we started. Same thing if we start with a 1, we get a 0 here, and then we get a 1 there. So that's uh, that's the involution theorem, or theorem 4 prime for this case. And then we've also got, our last one is x and x prime equals 0. So let's look at this. Um, this is saying that we, uh, whatever, whatever one input is, the other one is going to be the opposite. So what that means is our inputs never equal. One's always a one and the other one's always a zero, or one's always a zero and the other one's a one. So that means we're looking at these two rows in the truth table, in which case we can just see that both of their outputs are zero.